Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. Welcome back. We are up in the kitchen this morning with Emily Crown, a garden educator at Edible Schoolyard, Kern County, a program of the Grimm Family Education Foundation. And we're making a perfect dish for spring, maybe a day when you don't feel like turning on your oven because it's a little warm outside. Yeah, yeah. Those days are coming up. Yeah, absolutely. And we've got you prepared. This is going to be a spring chopped salad. Love it. And one of the very fun things about this salad is you can kind of substitute in different types of greens, whatever is available in the springtime okay. for more flavor so it's very forgiving very tasty I love it. you can even add berries into it mm, if you're yum. feeling a little fresh I love that so it's we can just jump straight into okay. it if you're ready okay fantastic uh, so and this is so difficult <laughs> add the chard to Pour it our in. bowl yeah I want to like slowly fold it and just dump it, it. okay yep you, you can dump it <laughs> we can toss it a little bit chard is one of my favorite leafy green vegetables mm -hmm. it's very flavorful I'm not a huge fan of bitter and it's not bitter at all so at least in my I would have never thought of using this for a salad before yeah exactly not many people have and again if you are not a fan of chard or you want to try something mm -hmm. else different you can do spinach you could do arugula Ooh. you can even do I mean I'm always a huge fan of romaine it's you probably favorite. just mix it up yeah, exactly. a couple different kinds. yeah so now since we've okay. got our, our bed of greens go ahead and dump in our purple cabbage beautiful such pretty color yep. and again our purple cabbage you can substitute that with green cabbage okay. you could do Napa even bok choy which Ooh. is always fun okay so now you can add in our golden beets beautiful and these are just raw yep just yep. sliced really thin yep just cool. we used a mandolin on these ones but you can also use your knife you can use a peeler um, and then the, mm. the most difficult ingredient of all, add the carrots. Those are really sweet. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> our golden, yeah, know. absolutely. That's the best part of getting to cook in your own mm -hmm. home is, you know, you got to try it. Make yeah. sure that it's uh, as fresh as you would mm -hmm. like and, you know, maybe eat all of it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so um, the golden beets we actually grew in our garden. Love it. And so that adds to their yeah, sweetness. How pretty that color yeah. is. I love it. So then the fun part, so we've got some raisins. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and dump those in. These ones were grown uh, last season okay. at the... At Edible schoolyard from our grapes. Fun. Here is some beautiful green onions. Mm. And again, if you're looking to involve the kiddos in the kitchen, having the ingredients set out like this, it makes them feel like a real champ. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Getting to add all these ingredients. Now, these ones, it's a mixture of papitas and sunflower seeds. So um, pretty. Yeah, and then um, I believe this one is our parsley. Okay. We've got our parsley and our mint. I like to smell everything. I'm weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's not weird at all. I mean, most Looks of so your good. cooking, like the the enjoyment of it, mm -hmm. begins in your nose. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like sniff away. And this is Basil? our mint. Oh, mint. Oh, yep. Mm. And we've got fresh mint growing too. So love now it. I'm going to let you mix okay. that one up. It's just so beautiful. I love yeah. it. So while you are mixing, getting it all nice and tossed, we are going to start on our vinaigrette. And so this is a very simple, easy vinaigrette recipe. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you can kind of make it your own, add different things that are in your pantry. We are going to start with our white uh, vinegar. Okay. So I'm, uh, I'm going to pour that. I almost used the wrong bowl. I'm going to swap mm, that around. I just had a bite of that fresh mint. That's really oh. amazing. So we are going to add our white vinegar. Love it. We've got our olive oil. And so we are going to need our emulsifier. And okay. so we are using our Dijon mustard. Okay. Um, and then that's going to help bring those two together. Um, we've got our garlic, which I'm always a huge mm -hmm. fan of. Are you a very big fan of garlic? Matt? Love it. Oh. Absolutely. Good. And it helps keep the vampires away. <laughs> and here is our orange juice. So the orange juice is just going to kick up that, uh, that springy vibe okay. to it. Um, so you don't have to add orange juice if you are not a big uh, fan of citrus. But personally, if you are adding like mandarins or anything mm. else fruity into the salad, this uh, vinaigrette will just complicate okay. com complement it. Yeah. It's not going to complicate it. <laughs> um, it's going to just add that added level of flavor to it. Perfect. So now we've got it all nice and Beautiful. mixed up. So now, Maddie, do the honors. Gonna drizzle? Yep, drizzle, drizzle away. There we go. Look at that. So beautiful. 
and just so so easy to make your own vinaigrette like that. That's so fast. Yeah, exactly. It's not complicated yep. at all. Yeah, thank goodness. I know. Um, and personally, I'm always a huge fan of the balsamic vinegar, mm, and so it is I would have added a little bit of that. But okay. white vinegar is also you very can, good with this. I love that you can play with it too. Like I've gotten the pomegranate oh, red vinegar oh and stuff gosh. before, which is really yummy. That so. was so tasty. Okay. Right, so now so take a pinch. A bowl here. Oh, yep. beautiful. Get you a fork. Okay. Look at this. This is my breakfast this morning. I'm all about it. Okay, salad for breakfast. I always take too big of a bite. Especially with leaves. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm. So, so many great flavors all together, and I love the crunch from the seeds that we yeah. put in there. So good. Were those raw or were they roasted? They were, uh, some of them were roasted. It was a little mm. bit of a mixture. I love it. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to share this recipe on our website so you can try it out. And play around with it. See what you like to add and, and uh, what you can grab from your garden. Emily, awesome. thanks so much. Thank I appreciate you. It. We'll be right back.